In this video, we are going to learn how to solve problems involving work, energy and power for your jam physics. So we are going to practice with 10 repeated questions for this topic. Alright, so <laughs> let's get started. Let's begin with the first one I have here. It says, which of the following quantities has the same unit as what? So we have the first option, force times velocity. The second option, force times distance. The third option, force times time. The last option, force times acceleration. So the correct option this question is option A. Force times velocity has the same unit as what? Alright, so take note of this particular question. I have often seen it repeated. Let's go to the next repeated question, which is this one. So it says, calculate the kinetic energy of a body of mass 15 kg that started from rest and traveled a distance of 50 meter with an acceleration of 1 meter per second square. Okay, now to solve this question, we know that kinetic energy Ke equals half mv square. Okay, so in this question, of which I highly recommend, you begin by getting out your parameters to know what you are working with. So we have the mass to be 15 kg. We, are, we don't have the velocity actually. So we can't solve this question with this just mass we have. So we need to get the velocity. And also in this question, we have this parameter. We have distance x to be 50 meter. We have acceleration to be 1 meter per second square. All right. We have our initial velocity from rest u equal 0 meter per second. We are looking for the final velocity so that we can substitute it in this formula to get the kinetic energy. Now we are going to apply one of the equations of motion to get the final velocity. We are going to make use of v square equals u square plus 2ax. Alright, so our v square, we might want to make v the solid formula. v square equals our u is 0, that is 0 square plus 2 times our a is 1 times our distance x is 50. Alright, so this is the same thing as 0 square is 0. So 2 times 1 times 50, we are going to have 100. Now, to make v the solid formula, we are going to square root both sides. So this square, we cancel the square root. Our v will now be square root of 100 is 10 meter per second. So at this juncture now we have gotten the final velocity to be 10 meter per second. So let's substitute it in this expression we have here. So this same thing as so we have half times our mass is 15 mv square. So our v is 10 square. Okay. So this same thing as half 15 times 10 square is 100. Alright, so 2, you can say 1, 2 into 100, we have 50. So let's punch this on the calculator. So we have 50 times 15. We have the output to be what? 750 joules. That would answer this question option D. 750 joules. That's it for this particular question. Let's wipe this now and solve the next repeated question. Let's remove this. Alright, so the next repeated question we're going to solve will be this question. It says a force of 100 Newton is applied to a bus, causing it to move 5 meters in the direction of the force. If the angle between the force and the displacement is 60 degrees, how much work is done? Now, for this kind of question, we know that the formula for work is force times distance and in this question we have an angle involved so basically it's going to be force times distance because of this angle times cos 60 degrees all right so that's all you need to solve this question so let's go ahead and simplify this 
our force in this question is 100 newtons so we have 100 times our distance is 5 times cos 60 degree and of course cos 60 degree is something as 0 0.5 okay which is half so let's punch everything together here on this calculator so we have 100 times 5 times 0 0.5 so we have it to be about 250 joules that will be the work done all right so that's it for this particular question let's wipe this now solve the next repeated question okay so the next repeated question will be this it says a body accelerates uniformly from rest for a time t the kinetic energy of the body at t is we have i is directly proportional to the displacement i i is directly proportional to the square of the instantaneous velocity I, I, I is directly proportional to square of the time t square iv depends on the value of the acceleration which of the both statements is or are correct all right so for the statements we have above the correct option to this question will be option d because the four statements we have above are all correct all right so the correct option will be option d that's it for this particular question let's go to the next repeated question so it says a vehicle of mass m is driven by an engine of power p from rest find the minimum time it will take to acquire a speed all right now guys also take notes of this particular question from the options we have here the correct expression for the minimum time it will take to acquire a speed will be option b mv square over t that's the correct ex expression for this question take note of this particular option mv square over t all right so that's it for this one let's go to the next repeated question this one the correct option is option b mv square by t so the next one we have here says which of the following statements is correct for a freely falling body all right so guys before we attempt this question if you are new to our channel ensure that you subscribe to this channel for more of our videos we really appreciate this all right so let's look at what we have we have i the total is entirely kinetic the ratio is of the ratio of potential energy so kinetic energy is constant the sum of potential and kinetic energy is constant we are asked which of the following statements is correct for a freely falling body so basically the correct option this question will be option a I, I i only the sum of potential and kinetic energy is constant that's the correct option here all right so that's it for this particular question also take notes of this one all right let's go to the next repeated question so the next one here says in the figure above the work done by the force of 100 newton inclined at an angle of 60 degrees to the object dragged horizontally to a distance of 8 meter is what okay now the formula for work is force times distance and we have an angle inclined at 60 degrees to the horizontal it will be times cos 60 degrees now note that had it been the angle was inclined to the vertical this would have been sine 60 so when angle is inclined to the vertical it will be sine when it is inclined to the horizontal it will be cos so let's get this now it will be 100 which is the force times the distance we have it to be 8 times now cos 60 is 0 0.5 or half so let's punch this on the calculator so we have 100 times 8 times 0 
So we have the output to be what 400 joules. The correct option this question is what option A, 400 joules. So that's it for this particular question. Let's wipe this and I'll solve the next repeated question. All right, so the next repeated question will be this question. It says, a body of mass 800 grams starts from rest and accelerates uniformly at 2.5 meter per second square. If a distance of 12.8 meter is covered, calculate the kinetic energy gained by the body. All right, so let's get the parameters for this question. Remember, kinetic energy equals half mv square. And in this question, we have our mass to be 800 gram. Basically, I need to convert it to kilogram, the standard unit. To do this, it will be 800 divided by 1000. Okay, so we will be left with 0 0.8 kilogram. Okay, this is k kilogram and we have our in the question we have our initial velocity start from rest u to be zero meter per second we have our acceleration to be 2.5 meter this is five meter per second square we have the distance x to be 12.8 meter we now have the v final velocity is unknown so we are going to apply these equations of motion to solve it, which is we have v square equals u square plus 2as. So our u, this is u square, okay, plus 2 times. Our acceleration is 2.5 times. Our distance is 12.8. So let's point this on the calculator and see what it's going to give us. We have 0 square is 0. So we have 2 times 2.5 times 12.8. So we have 64. Okay. Let's write this down. We are left with v square. This is v square equals 64. So to make v square formula, you square roots both sides. This is square. So this square, I cancel the square root here. So square root of 64 will give us 8. So our v equals what? 8. Let me write it here. v equals. 8 meter per second at final velocity. Let's now plug it in this formula we have here. So this is going to give us half okay times our mass is 0 0.8 times we have half mv square our v is 8 times 8. Okay, two classes f1, two into this we have four. So let's punch everything together now on the calculator we have 0 0.8 okay times 8 times 4 let's check so we have the output to be 25.6 the correct option in this question is what option a 25.6 joules all right so that's it for this particular question let's wipe this now so the next repeated question Okay, so the next repeated question will be this question. It says a body has to uniformly from rest for a time t. The kinetic energy of the body at t is I think we have answered this question before. The correct option will be option B. So all the above statements are correct. Okay? So here it will be option B I I I I I I, I and I V. So lastly before I call it a class, let's look at this question. It says which of the following fields is a non conservative field option a heat field option b the magnetic field option c the gravitational field option d the electric field so guys the correct option in this question is option a a heat the heat field heat field is a non-conservative field 
okay so that's the right option to this question it's as simple as this hope there's something interesting from the video let's call it a video guys we practice with 10 repeated questions under this topic work energy and power project physics now if you are new to our channel once more ensure that you are subscribed to this channel for more of our videos also like share and comment on this video let me have a few words and learned from this video if you seem to have any specific questions as a gun what i've talked about in this video feel free to leave your question on the comment section below and i'll ensure to give you a response also ensure that you are part of our channel membership by hitting the join button and you'll be glad you did in our channel membership we share special information to those there that goes a long way to help them out in the academic work so click on the join button to be part of us and you'll be glad you did now click on the screen and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching